Let's roll. Let's roll. Let's roll. Hi, everyone. My name is Timothy Mitchell. I am here day one at the ISA Science Expo 2023, and I am at the, as you can see right there, I am at the photo text booth, and this is my friend Walter. Walter, introduce yourself. Do you have an official title? Uh, yes, I am Mr. Phototex at this point. <laughs> You're Mr. Phototex. Okay. Yes. So, uh, yeah, I'm Walter Gerlach. I have been importing exclusively the Phototex self-adhesive fabrics. We, we actually are in our 19th year 19th of year. Uh, importing this product. And, uh, we and LexJet's kind of been there since year one, wasn't it? LexJet was one, if not the first dealer, to take it on. Believe in the product. Because we, we recognize the value, and they, now you're a behemoth. Yeah, yes, and uh, we've had a wonderful partnership, and we're even still growing the product to this day. Good. You um, should grow it. It's an excellent product. Thank you. I appreciate that I've been using it much. for years. I'm a huge believer. I know. It's super easy to print. I cut. <laughs> I stick it on things. I take it off. I stick it back up again. Yes. It looks great. It's easy to use, and even I can install it. <laughs> yes, and I appreciate you promoting it. And I don't want to laminate anything because I'm lazy, That's and I screw up the laminator. <laughs> That's why I like. That's why I liked yeah. it from the beginning. I'm like, if I could put this up, anybody exactly can. anyone could put this up. So tell me, here's what I want to understand. People are sometimes sure. confused about the different versions of Phototex. Right. Explain that there's three primary versions. That's right? correct. Explain yes. the three versions in a nutshell so people get it. Yeah. So easy. What we're trying to do is accomplish and and be able to stick to walls, windows, doors, or floors. In order okay. to do that, we have three different versions. Got it. So we originally came out with just original photo text. To this day, it's called original photo text. It's a non-opaque, a non-block out. That is absolutely wonderful uh, for windows uh, or glass and for elevators uh, or for single prints. You know, you're just doing one print, which is really done in the fine arts photography market. Yep. Um, and that's what worked great for that. But then we needed to uh, take it a step further because people wanted to start to panel uh, and do full wall murals, wall decor, wallpaper, whatever you want to call it. So the original, if you overlapped, because it's translucent yep. and you could backlight it, you would see the overlap. Okay. So we then came out with a Phototex opaque blockout. Opaque blockout was number two. Number two, which is now absolutely wonderful to use. It's removable, reusable, repositionable. Yeah, that's my core product. Yeah. That's my and goal. anybody could install it. So um, And keep in mind, if you have an aqueous printer, you get the aqueous version, yeah. and you can run the solvent. Yeah, there's two different coatings, and what it does is it just covers solvent, echo solvent, UV, latex. We have it. You have an inkjet printer, it'll be easy to just direct you and what of the two coatings work for you the best, but they all have the same results. Right, but yeah. you can't... See, I have a solvent printer in the basement, yes. and I cannot okay. run an aqueous coating. No. That does not look good. No, you'll be you have to have the solvent coating for the solvent printer. Yeah, and you'll say the material's defective, and I'll no, say... No, there's not defective. I knew the minute it ran through, I went, I bet that's an aqueous coating. So, yeah. So, I mean, that's been the bread and butter, uh, and especially through COVID and everything, the home decor business, it's, okay. it's easy to install. And that's what everybody loves about it. All right, so what's number three? Number three is we then wanted to get to the floors. Got so it. we have a high tack. So we took the original version yep. and we made it into a high tack and got it certified for the floors. But you need a UV printer for that. Okay. And the reason is the UV printer or the UV ink uh, makes it wipeable, cleanable. So you could clean it with chemicals, wipes clean, and it's great for smooth floors or tight weave carpet. Okay. On there, so then I, I can happen now to know a company that has UV printers. Yes. Yeah, they're so, called LexJet. Yeah, they, I, they have. So, EFI, and I want to recommend them right now. Yeah, 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 if I can. EF, yeah, EF, EF, EFI, Mamaki UV, Canon uh, UV gel. Right. Have you tried the Canon UV gel with the floor material? Yes, I have. Absolutely fantastic. Good. Even with the COVID yes. chemicals, it's cleanable, so you don't need to laminate it. Okay, so for the third one, your floor, UV really, because it gives you that scuff and scratch resistance yeah, that you're going to need yeah. for floor-based graphics. Yeah, if you use the other inks, uh, it would be a two- or three-day show or, you know, an event. But Shorter if you're going long-term long -term in grocery stores or anything like that, you need the UV. Okay. But we don't want to do that. But we also want to make sure everybody understands that we uh, have different size of rolls. So we have a 24-inch you know, 36, 42, 50, all the way up to 60 inch roll sizes. And they all come uh, 100 feet, some come 150 feet. So we have a variety of different sizes to meet whatever printer size you have. Fantastic. Walter, I think you've explained 
the three primary products as yeah. well as the two different types of coatings. Yep. You covered a lot of ground here, my friend. I appreciate it. Thank All you very much. Appreciate your time. Looking for, you. forward to a very another 19 years of profitable oh, partnership man. with Lexia. I'm so thankful for the first 19. I love it. I right, appreciate right on. Thank you very much, Thank everyone. You.